In current drug development, it takes between 10 to 15 years and $1.8 billion. So this is one of the most inefficient sectors. I am Giuseppe Barca and I am an associate professor in digital innovation and high performance computing. I've been working on combining high performance computing, artificial intelligence and quantum mechanics to design algorithms that can predict the behavior of biomolecular systems. So my research has a direct impact on the discovery of new drugs. To show the proof of concept of the algorithm, we use the largest supercomputer on the planet, the Frontier Supercomputer at the Oak Ridge National Lab. The computer performs one exaflop per second, which means 10 to the power of 18 operations per second, which is a very big number. So historically, drug discovery has been conducted using computational methodologies, which are quite inaccurate. You're trapped in this process of simulating, experimenting, and coming back and redesigning your therapeutics. Instead, in our case, the idea is that the simulations have an accuracy which is as close as possible to that of the experiments. In fact, it rivals with the accuracy of physical experiments. And therefore, the iteration time is significantly shorter. This will lead to a significantly more accurate determination of what are drugs which are really effective for certain diseases, and at the same time opens the way for designing novel and innovative therapeutics for diseases that are currently incurable. Artificial intelligence, high performance computing, and computational quantum mechanics will play a leading role in the development of new therapeutics in the future. This is one of the most exciting moments to be in computer science, and Melbourne is the place to be.